These little tubes of plastic, some just five centimetres high, will all end up as plastic bottles, full to the brim with fizzy pop. This factory churns out 72 million plastic bottles a year, and they all start life in the same way as a little miniature preform made out of a plastic called polyethylene terephthalate, a versatile thermoplastic resin which, when heated and cooled, retains its shape. It's used for fizzy pop bottles as it preserves the gas. Other materials would lose the fizz more rapidly. The process that turns these little tubes of plastic into grown-up bottles is called stretch-blow moulding, which means that the plastic preforms get blown up and stretched into the correct shape and size in just a few seconds. These are 13 centimetre preforms for two-litre bottles, and this machine works 24 hours a day, churning out two and a half bottles per second. That's 9,000 an hour, 220,000 a day. They start by getting carried into an oven where, in just 40 seconds, they're heated to 125 degrees centigrade. This gets the preform hot enough to ensure maximum flexibility to blow and stretch the plastic. The piping hot tubes are then transferred into the two-litre bottle moulds, where a rod gets injected down into the neck of the tube, stretching the plastic, while air is blown into the mould at a rate of 40 bar, that's around 580 psi. While the hot tube is being stretched and blown, cold water is circulated around the outside of the mould, which instantly cools the bottle down, and the condensation escapes in the form of steam. Now the bottle is completely solid and ready to be filled with pop. And here's the final product, full of fizzy pop. Now, typically, a bottle of pop like this is at about two bar pressure, which is twice atmospheric pressure. So these bottles have got to be immensely strong to take that kind of pressure. And if you shake them up, the pressure just goes up. Fancy your top up, Rich. Oh, I'd love one, thank you. <laughs> you love that. That's some of that. Cheers, Johnny, that's lovely. <laughs>